Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just a casual unpacking. Just received this one, the Keychron K7, shooting on the iPhone. Nothing special, another reviewer. So let me clear this mess a bit. Where should it go? Anyway, let's get started. So, just a sleek packaging. Uh, I opt for the red liners features, so this is I believe they called it. The number is K7E1. I did already a few holes here. It took them, I don't know, maybe two weeks to deliver. So let's see what's going on. Before that, I had no mechanical keyboard at all. It's my first experience whatsoever. So let's do it. And <laughs> let's stretch it a bit boom so here we have some mesh it's kind of plastic with the protection and right from that we have this page which tells us how to if you are a Windows user please find the appropriate keycaps in the box and the follow the instruction below and find the replaced the following keycaps all right so what do we have here we have the small paperwork, how to operate, function buttons, change light effects. We're going to play with it a bit. Oh, here she is. Wow. Wait a second. Okay. Not the most expensive packaging, I would say. But again, we I ordered them from the Indiegogo or Kickstarter. You have a, this plastic cover on top of it and this is the mechanical keyboard wow it's so slim so slim amazing it has also leverages the, the one level the second one nice this rubber material over here so it won't go anywhere let's compare it to the regular mac keyboard this one is a bit bigger but uh, due to the fact we have the delete button on the right side another um, level of the keys and on the other hand it's smaller because the um, the regular keyboard has this top bar with the function keys let's see how it will work for me and let's try to pair it together with the notebook Nice, wow. It's linear, it doesn't have any tactile feedback. Just, I would say in comparison to the regular keyboard, it doesn't give you any feel of having the button pushed. So you won't notice anywhere during the key travel that it has been pushed but let's try to connect it to the to the mac right now okay so it was on the cable mode so what i'm gonna do right now i will pick the this one is a type a to type c kind of long one oh i did, they didn't provide any type c cable I believe, right did i miss anything no I have another paperwork here, the keycap removal tool, really solid one, and keycaps, another delete button, the orange one to replace the gray one, if you, this kind of thing. And what else? The Windows button and escape button, the gray one. So we can go all the way gray or some orange accents. We'll see. Okay. Um, I have this monitor with me, it's a regular Dell monitor. Let me pop this up. Boom. Boom. Okay. This is my setup, the regular MacBook Pro for 13 inch. I'm gonna plug this keyboard using type A straight to the monitor. Plug in and play. And this one connects to the keyboard. Boom. Wow. Yeah, I choose the, I never mentioned this one before. 
I went for a RGB model. Let's see how it works. Should have disabled the... Wow. Uh, and you can see that the keys, actually, they point in themselves a bit down. So I will need to elevate them just in order to make sure that um, the force goes from, from the fingers goes down on the key. So I will start with the very top position. 